In this video, we're going to take a look at some mistakes that happen when we're using capital letters, all right? So let's take a look at the first rule. So the first rule is that we use capitals in the first letter of every sentence. It's a very simple one. We probably already know it, but sometimes it's easy to forget. Let's take a look at an example. He really likes Jenny. She is a great person. That one, of course, is missing the capitals, and it should be like this. The next one is we use capitals when we are writing proper nouns. So what are proper nouns? That's things like the names of people or brands or like famous specific places, like the name of a city. It's also things like songs, movies, books, the names of those things. And it's the names of days of the week, months, famous holidays, events, things like Christmas, but not seasons. That's a mistake that many people make. So for example, spring is not with a capital. It's a lowercase s. Let's take a look at an incorrect example. So we could say, I really like Jenny. She is a great person and so are her friends Helen and Bob, they all live in New York. So which ones there should be capitalized? Let's have a look. Here's the correct version. So all of the names of the people should be capitalized. Also the name of New York, because that is a famous and specific place. The next rule is related to quotation marks when we're quoting somebody. So the rule is that the first letter inside the quotation marks should be capitalized. So let's take a look at an example. President Roosevelt famously said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. But this one is not correct. Why not? Because that the needs to be capitalized. It's the first one inside the quote. So that word needs to start with a capital letter. The next rule is about cities and countries and languages and nationalities. All of those should have a capital letter. Let's take a look at an incorrect example. So I studied French when I was in school, but I've never visited France. Can you spot the problem there? The problem is with the words French and France. Both of those should have capital letters. Okay, now there, is, there are many more rules about capitals. These are just some of the most important ones. And you can check out this link if you want to uh, study this in a little bit more depth. You can also find this link in our additional materials. The challenge in this video, take a look at this. This is a short paragraph and I've taken away a lot of the capital letters. So your job is to read this paragraph and figure out where should we be adding capital letters. Okay, have a try now. So let's take a look at the answers there. So the first one, I really loved my trip to San Francisco, a city, to visit Neil and Natalie, people's names. The next one, we saw the Golden Gate Bridge and the famous Alcatraz Island. So those are specific places. And I practice speaking English, a language, with some Americans, a nationality. The next one, what's more, Natalie said to me, come back anytime. I think I will go back there sometime soon. So you can see uh, what Natalie said. We put it in quotation marks. So that one also needs to start with a capital letter. So when you're writing, you need to make sure that you reread when you've finished and have a little look. Have you used capitals in all of the right places? All right, see you in the next video.